In this lecture, we're going to take a look at notifications inside of Bulma CSS. So let's start out by making a new div with the class of simply notification. If we hit enter without typing any text, we can see that we now have this gray border. I'm going to place it inside of a mobile view to make this a little easier to see. And we can make ourselves a button with the class of delete. And you'll notice now that we have this X at the top right of our notification. This is awesome for us because we can simply add a custom click event. And what we can do is hide or remove this notification with that delete button. Outside of that, now we need some dummy text. I simply have some Star Wars Ipsum. And when we save the file, we can now see that we have a functioning notification. Let's copy this a few times with some different colors. Once again, we can start off with the class of notification and is primary. Instantly, you can see that we have our green color once again. Secondly, we can add notification is info. This time with info, we do get that blue color. I'm going to go down now and add the rest for success, warning and danger. And if we take a look inside of our application, we have initially a simple notification with no class. And next we have a notification with our primary color, then our info color, our success color, warning, and then danger. So these notifications are really bold and do stand out inside of our app and they should ideally be used to alert your users of a particular event. So that wraps up using notifications inside of Bulma CSS.